Anne Jeffries as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostest. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghost, as... Topper. Here's the keys to my car. I'd like you to drive me to the airport and uh, have my car lubed and the oil changed while I'm gone. Oh, and uh, take these into the pro at the club. I've been wanting to have my brassy fixed. Papa, he's not putting you in charge of the bank. He's making you a caddy. A caddy? What's that, Topper? Uh, oh, my daddy. <laughs> Great golfer. <laughs> they called him Fairway Topper. Hmm. <laughs> oh, now here, here's the most important thing of all. Raised her on my country place, Topper. Pure buff coaching. Sure blue ribbon at the county fair this year. Oh. Neil thinks he's got DTs. Wait, are you uh, taking it to Chicago with you, Mr. Scarlett? No, of course not. I may not be back in time to enter. I want you to do it for me. Here. Well, this is the end. A chicken walker. Well, why do you let me push you around, Topper? Now keep her warm, out of drafts. And of course, uh, keep her away from roosters. Her name is Hildegard. <laughs> Down, Neil. But I know just how you feel. What have you got to say for yourself now, Mr. Bank Vice President? Nothing, George. I, uh, I, I guess I just laid an egg. <laughs> Oh, had my hands full, Maggie. Come on, Hildegard. Hello. What on earth are you doing? Hmm? Uh, it's a chicken dinner, Henrietta. Um, uh, a buff coaching. But if you wanted a pet, why didn't you get a cocker spaniel? It's a pet, dear. I'm entering it in the fair for Mr. Schuyler. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Mr. Schuyler, is it? Uh, yeah, he's a gentleman farmer. Loosely speaking. And for a loose gentleman, he's the tightest. Quiet. George. That's a queer name for a chicken. Stop it, Neil. Neil? I thought you said his name was George. Uh, it isn't. It's Hildegard. Oh. And you're going to enter it in the county fair? <laughs> Where are its eyes? Hmm? Oh, oh you're, you're looking at the wrong end. George, who does enter something in the fair? You're not entering anything in the county fair. Well, I hadn't thought about it. But why can't I, Cosmo? Why can't you, Topper? I mean, you, uh, you, you, you haven't anything to enter, dear. That's true, isn't it? I think I'll make a pie. You've never baked a pie in your life. Cosmo, I used to bake all the time. I have a wonderful recipe for broccoli banana cream pie. <laughs> you stay out of that kitchen. Why, Cosmo, why should I stay out of the kitchen? Well, I, uh, I don't want you to spoil your pretty hands, dear. I, I hate wrinkled hands. George, what kind of pie shall I bake? <laughs> How about chicken? <laughs> Wait, anything but chicken, you, you murderer. <laughs> I intend to let the postman perform the operation, Cosmo. Besides, one can hardly call it murder. You need a very good chicken, ma'am. Well, we got ours. You get yours. <laughs> chicken is flying, but it's not using its wings. Uh, yes, uh, it's um, uh, a new breed. Uh, uh, a cross between a New Hampshire and a, uh, a Jet. <laughs> Maggie, come back here. Maggie, do you think Mr. Topper is acting strange lately? Marion, what have you done to our kitchen? Never mind that. Look what your kitchen's done to me. That's all right, honey. Doesn't it look like a blue ribbon tops? Yes, it does. But why does she have to make a, a ribbon? It's a pie, Schmo. What? Hmm? A, a pie? A pie. A chicken pie. What? What? Where's Hildegard? Now, don't snap your cap. Hildegard's okay. 
The people next door were serving pheasant under glass, so I blew with it. George, you're a pheasant snatcher. I'm a glass blower. Here, would you help me with this crust? It seems to have gotten a little large. I will not. Furthermore, I'll be right to visit the two theater up in Marion, Maddie. Duck, the cops. <laughs> What in the world are you doing? Oh, I, I'm, I'm making a pie, dear. I'm saving you the trouble. Miss Topper, I'm giving notice. Thank you, please. Cosmo, put that dough down. Well, well, where? On the pie, of course. <coughs> now, Maggie, I'm sure you don't want to do anything hasty. Well, I'm not saying I will, and I'm not saying I won't. But if Mr. Topper is going to take up cooking... Well, uh, that was the last thing I had in my mind, Maggie. Well, put it down, Topper. The four times too big for it. We better trim up the edges. <laughs> <laughs> too sticky. Not sticky at all. Look. Cosmo, what caused that? Oh, uh, 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 too much yeast. <laughs> Topper, I quit. <laughs> In the main exhibition tent, judging is about to begin in the best pie category. Cosmo, how lovely. For me? Oh, um, uh, for the fairest at the fair. <sighs> oh, brother, you should enter the tall corn contest. The twist the castle, the judging is starting. Do you think I have a chance, Cosmo? I did work so hard on my pie. Well, I, uh, I, I think it deserves some sort of prize, dear. How about mine, Topper? You can't enter Marion. What, Topper? Uh, I said it's a pity you can't enter Marion. Remember the cat we used to have? <laughs> Topper. But her name was Whiskers, Cosmo. And it was a he. Uh, oh. oh. Uh, tell me, how's the judging coming along? Here, Cosmo. He hasn't liked any yet. And mine's the last entry. Not quite the last. George, Madeline, get out of here. No, 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 no. Topper, fair is fair. If that thing of Henrietta's is called a pie, then so is Marion's. And a blue ribbon would go so well with my eyes. It's coming, Cosmo. I just don't know what to say when he tastes my pie. Think I can buy him? How about giving him a bottle of bicarbonate? <laughs> it's not very nice, Cosmo. All right, I'm sorry, dear. Take your silly pie and go. <laughs> hey. A chicken pie entered by Mrs. Henrietta Topper. <laughs> Is this the final entry, or...? Oh, do you have a pie, too? Me? A pie? Certainly not. Oh, yes, you do. Cosmo, where did that come from? <laughs> Why, I swear that pie floated in. <laughs> Very light crust. <laughs> I'll give you that. Just put it down, please. I didn't know you were entering, Cosmo. Oh, don't worry, dear. I haven't a ghost of a chance. Not with jokes like that, you have. <laughs> I do hope you enjoy it. Silence, please. Uh, do you think he likes it? <laughs> I think he'd like to be dead. <laughs> how was it? Madam, how many pies have you made in your lifetime? This is my first. <laughs> For the good of suffering humanity, that would be your last. Uh, 
Uh, what type pie is this? Uh, oh, uh, uh, chicken. <laughs> That's very, uh, different. I'll hand some more, Topper. Uh, uh, another piece. No, 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 please, no. There are some other entries I want to check on again. I thought that... Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, I have no idea. Hold him, George. Come on, Marion. can't escape. I can't seem to get away from this pie. Well, then try another piece. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't think that'll be necessary. You mean that Cosmo's pie is... It's one of the worst pies I've ever encountered in my whole career. I just can't seem to get away from it. Oh, here. <laughs> Bird, cry. Let him go, George. <laughs> How did you do it, Carter? Oh, um, use only the best ingredients, dear. Keep your oven hot. Topper! <coughs> Mr. Skyler. Is this the way you look after my interests? I come back from Chicago to find that Hildegard is gone. Now, where is she? Well, perhaps she's just stepped out. Just stepped out. <laughs> look, Mary. Neil never liked the Never. Sad news. Well, what's this? Oh, must be from my canary. Canaries are yellow. Well, we're not ours. Very courageous. We picked our neighbor's cat three times. It's from Hildegard. What have you done with her, Topper? Cosmo just won first prize in the pie contest, Mrs. Carla. I don't care if... A chicken pie. Chicken. He uses only the best ingredients. Oh, but you didn't. You didn't. But that bird was priceless to me. Priceless. Oh. George, I, I think we'd better find Hildegard. I just know Neil wouldn't touch it. I'm not too sure. Uh oh. That makes three feathers. Oh, there's your answer. He thought it was whiskey. We will have the poultry competition in the main exhibition tent. Do you the hear that? Poultry poultry they're about to stop the judging and not a sign of Hildegard anywhere. Not a sign in the whole fairgrounds. Well, maybe she's nesting. Oh, it's ridiculous. I worked a whole year to prepare that bird for a blue ribbon. And if you ruin things, the pig slip. The blue ribbon, the pig slip, and the bird, Topper. But I, I, I entered her in the fair, Mr. Skyler. I, I saw her not half an hour ago. Ask any of the judges. Yes, I will. Oh, judge, over here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, oh, you again. Nervous type. Uh, he's prejudiced. Ask Alan to get another judge. Or demand a trial by jury. I'll represent you. Keep quiet. I will not. I'll tell everything I know. Mr. Topper here supposedly entered a pop culture chicken of mine in the fair, and now the birds disappeared. Yes, I, I entered it yesterday, you remember? Mr. Topper, some few minutes ago I gave you first prize for a pie for which you deserved only hanging. I have no idea of the forces which caused me to betray a most promising career, but I can only hope now that time will erase the memory of both you and your chicken pie. Good day. Well, Topper. Nervous type. Topper, I put up with a lot from you recently. But if you don't find that bird of mine in the next ten minutes, our association is finished. Finished? Yes, Mr. Scarlett. Oh. Nervous type. How can I produce this wretched bird as near late? I don't think he did. You see, the true breaker never eats. Not on the stomach, anyway. Hey, let's, let's put him on the trail. Anything around here you can get the scent of Hildegard? Uh, he couldn't find a mouse in a teacup. <laughs> oh, Neil? Why, he's the greatest trade retriever alive. I mean, dead or alive. Oh, why don't we give him the scent of the chicken pie? Good thinking. Let him have a scent.
Must be out of training. George, here comes Skylar back again. Now look here, Tarbuck. <laughs> Is that your idea of a joke? You deliberately put that by there. Uh, I was trying to trap Hildegard. My pie was made from a rooster. <laughs> Where is he going, George? He's on the trail. He's picked up Hildegard's scent. Yeah, he comes from a long line of chicken truckers. <laughs> Once having taken up the chase, this breed will never stop until it drops dead in its tracks. What? But he already is dead. He's proceeding on nerve. <coughs> on nerve. Fine, Neil. Fine. And these softy routines by our queens of beauty, folks, are merely a sample of the steps the little ladies are gonna perform for you on the inside. And now, as the box office is thrown open to the true patrons of the art, <laughs> do something, friend. I'm looking for a young chicken. You come to the right place, then. And girls. See anyone you like? No, you don't understand. Uh, I... We're looking for a rather odd looking chicken. A uh, uh, hen. Come on, Barbara, let's dance. Marion, let go. Will you hold the dog? Sure. What do you think you're doing? Oh, oh, don't worry, Mr. Scarlet. I'm tracking down Hildegard. <laughs> okay, Gumper, let's make a pretty <laughs> It's in the blood. His great grandfather owned a flea circus. <laughs> I, I, I'm just about ready to give up, George. Oh, relax, Topper. Enjoy yourself. Marion and Neil are out looking for Hildegard. Let's us have some fun. Oh, no, no, no. Please, George. Well, with just a suggestion. Hey, look at that. What is it? It's, uh, well, it, uh, it looks like a, an information booth. Maybe we could find out about Hildegard. Lend me a dollar, Topper. Hmm? On four. Charity. I beg your pardon. I, uh, I, I'm looking for a lost chicken. Do you want to kiss me or not? Uh, I haven't even considered it. Well, I have. One side, Topper. Go! <laughs> you sure don't act your age, do you? I, I, I must apologize, really. I... Why? Uh, what? Cosmo! Oh, uh, uh, I was just uh, getting some information. I can see that, Cosmo. <laughs> Hildegard, George, Marion, Oscar. Cosmo! Is he your husband? Yes. <laughs> Why? You lucky woman. <laughs> we write this way for the greatest entertainment at the fair. They talk to each other up and down. They talk to each other all around. And then for a sensation of... <laughs> Papa was an acrobat. What damn it. Is that all he's got to do? Play games? This fair has been a bad influence, Mrs. Skyler. Cosmo's just gone to pieces. And that's only half of what you'll see on the inside, folks. Well, 
I wish he'd make up his mind. Is he a banker or an acrobat? Be careful, Cosmo. Help! Hey, over this way, fellas. Let me try. Help! Boys, put him down. How am I doing, Copper? Put me down. Put me down. I said put him down. Help! 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 That's enough, Cosmo. Don't overdo it. Get rid of a boy. Please. Well. See, he wasn't hurt a bit. All right, friend. And inside, inside for ten cents, the tenth part of a dollar. Cosmo, you must remember your bursitis. Never mind about your bursitis. What about my prize chicken? What chicken? Look, Topper. She just wanted a nice, quiet place to nest. I warned you, Topper. I'm holding you responsible. That bird was left in your care and... <laughs> My Hildegard! <laughs> Topper, how did you do it? Oh, oh just use my head. Better look inside, Topper. <laughs> Souvenir from the family, dear. <laughs> No, 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 you can't. He's just become a mother. By John W. Lupton. A John W. Lupton, Bernard L. Schubert production. Starring Ann Jeffries, Robert Sterling, and Leo G. Carroll. as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostess. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghost as... Topper. Here are the keys to my car. I'd like you to drive me to the airport and uh, have my car lubed and the oil changed while I'm gone. Oh, and uh, take these into the pro at the club. I've been wanting to have my brassy fixed. Topper, he's not putting you in charge of the bank. He's, he's making you a caddy. A caddy? What's that, Topper? Uh, oh, my daddy. <laughs> Great golfer. <laughs> they called him Fairway Topper. Hmm. <laughs> oh, now here, here's the most important thing of all. Raised her on my country place, Topper. Pure buff coaching. Sure blue ribbon at the county fair this year. Oh. Neil thinks he's got DTs. Wait, are you uh, taking it to Chicago with you, Mr. Scarlett? No, of course not. I may not be back in time to enter. I want you to do it for me. Here. Well, this is the end. A chicken walker. Why do you let me push you around, Topper? Now keep her warm, out of drafts. And of course, uh, keep her away from roosters. Her name is Hildegard. <laughs> Hello, Neil. And I know just how you feel. What have you got to say for yourself now, Mr. Bank Vice President? Nothing, George. I, uh, I, I guess I just laid an egg. <laughs> Ah, had my hands full, Maggie. 